Today what we're doing is we're reducing a spondylolisthesis. What that translates into in normal English words is a slip in the spine where the bone has broken in the back and has allowed the spine to shift forward. So the way it works is these are the screws that we put into the spine. They're called pedicle screws. If you look at this screw, it has a tall top and these have normal tops, these have short tops. This is almost probably a little more than double the height of the screws here. So the way this works is the bone that we're going to reduce is in between two bones that are normal height. That bone, is, as a result, is forward. So it's way forward, and I'll show you a picture of that later, but it's way forward in the spine. So when I look in the spine, this is what I see. One screw is placed really deep, the other two are placed at a normal height. So this rod, we put the rod in between these screws. You see how I bent the rod to get a normal curvature in the spine? We put this in these screw heads. These screws are gonna be higher than that screw. So what happens is you can see there's a gap this rod is way up high. But what happens is we put set screws that go in the top. And as I tighten that set screw, what happens is it pulls this rod back into the same position as the other screws. So this screw now is at the same height as the other ones, you know, with the exception of the curve in the rod that reestablishes the natural curve in the spine. Not everyone reduces a slit. I like to reduce a slit because I believe that God put our spine in a specific position. And when we reestablish that alignment, that we've lost, it puts the muscles at rest, it puts our body in a more normal position, and even with a few spine in a bad position, people tend to have chronic pain. So I like to reduce my slips. I go to the front first, take out the disc, put a piece of bone in there to jack the disc back up to its normal height, because many of these bones are shifted forward and collapsed. So the first thing we do is we go to the front, we give the disc height, we give it, we give it realignment, and then we go to the back and we push it back even further in place. So when we're done, all of our bones are in a natural position. So that's how you do a spondylolisthesis reduction. And we'll show you some pictures of that. So if you look at that picture, we're not completely finished. That picture shows you where the screw is in place and the back of the bone at the bottom is now in position. Before, if you go back to an old image, you can see how the bone, not the points here, but the bone, the bone in the middle is forward compared to the bones behind it. The bone above and below it are, are further back. And so now look at the new image again, and you can see it's reduced. So uh, put a pause on that. I'll show you.